Наташа, Наташа, здравствуйте. У меня вопрос. Почему миллионы людей, молодых и старых, каждый день начинают наблюдать за новым феноменом, называется Daily Movement? Может быть, это потому, что от 15 до 20 минут движения каждый день можно улучшить осянку, стабильность, мобильность, гибкость, равновесие, дыхание, спокойствие, стресс, привлекательность, ясность, силу, мотивацию, страсть, энергию и жизненность. Я должен это сделать. Наташа, э, другой вопрос. Вы думаете, движение может улучшить Кровоток? Ха-ха-ха, может, Петр, может. Okay, today we're learning something about the uh, wrists, elbows, arms, joints. And this is something you can do sitting down. Just have, you know, this much space around you. Don't have to stand up or anything. And we're just gonna launch right into it, right? So let's start with elbows, okay? Okay, let's just get to know what's going on with the elbows. You can just move them any way you want. Doesn't matter if you're like, This to start off with, you can start off as crap as you want. <laughs> Who cares? Just like this. Going from closed to open. Closed to open. Just do it with both arms. Closed to open. Closed, open. Closed, open. And it's also, if you look at it from the other side of the joint, it's also closed, open. <laughs> closed, open. Yeah, one side of the joint closes, one side of the joint opens. Okay, so what can we do with that? There's a few different angles you can have of the, of the, like, wrist, I suppose, or forearm. Right, so you can, we can have one that's like this. Right, or we can go like this. Or we can go over. And each have kind of like different feelings. Or we can start over and end under, which is like, <laughs> you know, this, you can in, in, do a twist in it, right? Do a few of these, get that motion. All right, I'll just do this. I'll slow it down so you can do it. Ready? That's kind of like an anatomical correct way I understand anyway, to have that rotation. Like when you do a bicep curl, it's like a rotation, because a bicep rotates your arm. Okay, so let's learn another principle. Let's stabilize this. Put your hand on it to stabilize it at first. Just see how that feels a bit different. Well, it feels a bit tighter because now that you've put this condition on the arm that okay that has to stay in the same place that's going to make things a little bit more restricted right like if you can just go like this everything's more fluid right that doesn't mean that this is wrong okay so let's put let's put it all the way over here into it See how that feels? Now let's go all the way over here. Stabilize that. Probably notice when it gets all the way out here, it can feel a bit tight, like along there. It's okay. Just go into that tightness. It's not like it hurts. It's not like it's like, ow! Just go into it. Just stabilize that arm. Try doing it like a karate chop. You can imagine. Like that. Okay. So you've kind of learned, you know, you should actually be feeling like the elbow kind of open up a bit, like start to feel a bit better. Like we usually don't use our elbows as much as we should. We really don't. You know, we, we do things like this, blah, 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 blah. Or we do things like this, but we don't do enough of this, right? So let's, let's pick up the speed a bit, right? Ready? Do this. Nothing wrong with doing that. How fast can you go? Let's do this. Pretty good, right? Let's do it like this.
Okay. Do it uh, down like this. You can thrust it a bit, like, you know, like, you know how, like, it, if you throw it down, you kind of have to, like, decelerate it so it doesn't just go, Bleh! like, you can, you can run into that a bit, you know, like, a little bit, like, decelerate it, but you can still go, bonk, a bit, like, you would have to, you know, like, if you're throwing, whoosh, like that, you're gonna, you're gonna go, dunk, onto your elbow, it's gonna happen, you're not gonna perfectly decelerate every single one, <laughs> all right, so do these fast, try to bring them all the way in, right, here. Like, squeeze your bicep at each one. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've got some, we've got some speed going on. Do a bit random, right? Okay, let's just bring something else into it, right? Let's bring the wrists into it. So now, we're going to kind of go like that. Like, and that. Okay, so the wrist is coming here and here. Still mount in front. Do it with softness first. Just making those this motion every time. That one's good. Okay. Good, good. Okay, now let's um do something up at these shoulders here. All right? Let's do this. This is like uh I was thinking about this as like Neo, right? He's like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Do your Neos. Try and just uh, relax the stiffness in the shoulders here. Like, you will feel a resistance to going around. So just kind of try to swing it. Just throw your, throw your hands like you're throwing a tennis ball or something like that. Just, and just make your shoulders be like, oh, stop, slow down. Because your shoulders are kind of like, oh, I'm not used to using, just rotating this fast. So go like this. Okay, let's go like this. It's internal, external, internal, external. That's a workout. Okay, good. Do this. Okay, so we've done a few things, right? So now we're gonna take it to the next level, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna make like we're gonna up the tension in in every muscle, right? You know, just before we do that, I want to do one more, right? So we're gonna go back, forward, okay? Back. Forward. And what's happening is the, the scapula coming around the ribcage, back to center, at the, close to the spine. So we're just doing this, okay? Come up. Go down like this as well. Okay, do it fast. still we could we could rotate it's that's just not what we're doing okay you should feel that if you haven't felt it you haven't been doing it hard enough or you're just super fit <laughs> okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to up the tension everywhere right so the easiest way for you to understand this is to start with the the hand right so soft and then like you're grabbing 
an apple, but there's no apple. <laughs> you're squeezing it, right? You're squeezing it. So you're squeezing in, but you're also squeezing out, <laughs> right? It's just tension. Like everything's against everything else. Like all the agonists and antagonists are pulling against each other and there's just no, no motion. Like you got a rope and you pull the rope at both ends and the rope doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> there's tension in the rope, but it ain't going anywhere. Okay, now get the other one. Okay. If you find yourself shaking like I just did, it's probably because you're doing it a bit up at more central to the spine or something like that. Just focus more on the hand. Okay, now, whether you, just get that as well as you can. And now let's extend it, right? Let's extend it to the forearms. So we're gonna be squeezing all these muscles, maybe even, don't focus too much on the bicep and tricep yet. They might activate, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Just focus on the, the wrists and the forearms. And you might even start to move the hands, rotating those wrists as you do it. And you're gonna be like, oh, it's difficult. It's difficult, right? It's like, Argh. like, you know, it's all stiff. So as soon as it just becomes a bit annoying, just relax and shake it out. Nothing bad's gonna happen, okay? You're not gonna stiffen up your joints by doing this. The exact opposite, okay? Because you're gonna experience the tension and then learn to turn it off. That's what we're driving at something pretty cool, <laughs> by the way. So let's do it all the whole arms, right? So squeeze your whole arms, biceps and triceps, you know. What do you call that? Brachioradialis, is it? Beer drinking muscle, squeeze that one. Squeeze it all, right? Okay, now, now start to move around like this while squeezing it and try to move your wrists and your elbows, right? Okay, now squeeze kind of around your shoulders, right? You can even squeeze your upper trapezius and between your shoulder blades and everything Okay, so let's squeeze your chest as well, all right? Under here, serratus, anterior, like, <sighs> yeah, even latissimus dorsi, right? Whatever you can detect and squeeze, just squeeze, right? Okay, so you've got this feeling of, okay, let's release that. You have this feeling of the ability to turn the tension on, right? You can turn it off or you can turn it on. Two different modes, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do those chops, elbow movement and such, with the tension on. When I did this, really, really opened up my elbows a lot, right? So let's, let's turn it on, right? And then, hmm, you know, now we're being like, gently or whatever, right? Like tense. Right? Like everything's tense. And I don't mean like we're being like Jet Li in a way that like, this is how he does it all the time. It's like, no, this is something that he, you, you can see him do sometimes. Like, like, I was thinking like your punches, if you don't have any tension in them, like they don't really have any power, right? They're just like, but like, you know, we're putting tension all through. Okay, let's squeeze really hard, right? You can even squeeze your wrist together. Squeeze in the elbow joints. Squeeze your biceps and triceps, and then go fast as you can. You'll feel a bit uncomfortable. It's okay though. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're driving. This is kind of like a merger between movement and like Taoism. You know, in the Tao, they have like the, you know, black and the white, and there's like a black circle in the white and a white circle in the black. And I heard someone say that that's like, you know, like the white has the potential of the black. The black has the potential of the white. It's like the yin has the potential to become yang, or the yang has the potential to become yin, or something like that. You know, soft and hard, 
they're like yin and yang, right? So you want to, well, let's learn to do the soft, right? With the potential to suddenly go to the hard. And then let's learn to have, be able to do the hard with the potential to suddenly go to the soft. So we're going to transition. Okay. Okay. So let's start off soft. Be like Mac from It's Always Sunny. Okay, now suddenly increase the tension. Okay, rotate those wrists and turn it off. Okay, ready? Start doing this and turn it on. Squeeze everything in your arms and between your shoulder blades, hands. Let's do it like this. And off. So, <clears throat> done a couple of things here. You've learned to open your elbow joints a bit better. You learned to rotate your shoulders a bit better. Um, move your wrists a bit better. Let's just do this one before we finish. So, tense. Yeah, a little tension here, a little tension here. And relax. Tense. Really hold those hands. You know, hard. And relax. Woo! And you learn this like tense, soft ability to change between them. Okay, so that should be a good one. Okay, see you tomorrow for another.